Marion County deputies went to talk with a man in connection to a deadly home invasion case. Deputies say he drove to the hospital to drop off the man who was shot to death during that home invasion, and it was all caught on camera. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live in Marion County. And Vanessa, what do deputies know about this man? Well, it's the surveillance video that was caught from this emergency pull through area here in Summerfield that may help deputies tonight. The man who was dropped off here later died and tonight investigators are hoping you can help them get results. It's grainy video, but it may help answer a number of questions about who attempted to break into Sean Peterson's home Monday night. Marion County Sheriff's Office released this video this morning. The man you see being pulled out of the back of the car is 32 year old Sean King. Whether or not uh, this person was directly involved, indirectly involved, we don't know. Or just trying to, you know, help somebody out and bring him to the hospital. We'd like to know his story. Lauren Letlier with Marion County Sheriff's Office is calling this driver a person of interest rather than a suspect. She says they just want to talk to him. It was a very scary incident and we're still investigating it fully. So we're details are emerging every day. The more people we talk to. Sean Peterson spoke with us Tuesday. He says his roommate saw four people break into their home in all black masks. They shot his dog and tried shooting at him. He defended himself and shot King. He's later seen on this surveillance video at a Summerfield hospital being dropped off and left. He later died from the gunshot. At this time, we're looking to talk to that person. So we're not looking to actively, um, you know, pursue criminal charges at that time. Although, you know, if information comes about, that might be a possibility. Now, Peterson, the man who was living at that home and shot that man who was brought here to the hospital, says he doesn't know the people who broke into his home. Lauren, who you heard there with the Marion County Sheriff's Office, says that they are working to get more information in this case. And as of the past three years, there have never been any calls for service to that house. Lisa. Vanessa Ariza reporting live in Marion County tonight. Thank you.